नमस्ते आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ सीधी बात जर्नलिज्म प्लेज अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन आर डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग नीड फॉर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मीडिया इन वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसीज इन द वर्ल्ड इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी स्पेशली द रोल इंक्रीज इज ड्रोमेटिकली दे हेल्प अस इन कीपिंग अपडेटेड विद वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन अराउंड अस वेल बिकमिंग अ जर्नलिस्ट इज अ न्यू वे ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू आर सोसाइटी As means and mediums are increasing day by day, awareness is increasing around us all the time. Journalism highlights various decisions about lives, communities, societies, and the government. This allows citizens to be informed on the latest developments on every socially and politically relevant topic. With this hope, journalism was started. But today, we are able to see another phase of journalism. to discuss this very important and interesting topic i have with me a very special guest today she is working as a journalist with hello vizag and is a practicing journalist for the last one year let's welcome miss roopsha well roopsha my first question to you is very generous and obvious what is your view about the situation of indian journalism right now you being a journalist can explain that better to us is it good bad or ugly and what do you think is its cause what are the consequent impacts on the society according to you well currently uh, indian journalism situation is bad and i think we all can see that we cannot rely on any one particular channel or newspaper or uh, you know a, a source because we don't know if they are giving the right information or facts uh, are being quoted right uh, so definitely it is bad um, and i think uh, it has got really worse consequences because you know um, right now i i think it's been 2 years uh, we can see like you know in through social media platforms like instagram or uh, any news channel the way in social media how this news gets circulated and it has got a massive uh, response like people you know they uh, you can move mountains with one particular news one click or one news shared from some uh, you know renowned newspaper or channel or, or just a normal clip can go viral and uh, it has got major consequences so I, i'll i'll quote you one example like you know i'll give you an example that is boys locker room for instance you know a uh, one newspaper quoted something or one social media uh, uh, platform uh, quoted the uh, uh, quoted a particular thing and it was uh, and mountains move man like i mean uh, a guy's life was at risk and not just with that you know uh, because of uh, one particular news there's so much uh, communalism or you know fa- factions are divided like you know there's this uh, whole religious turbulence like you know community one community pointing at uh, the other community and i think the vice versa so i think uh, you know j- journalism in today's days uh, today's days it has become that bad that it can actually lead to a war or a uh, riot so i think uh, it is definitely bad in today's scenario very well said roopsha and i think we can all absolutely relate with what mahatma gandhi ji said long back the press is called the fourth estate it is definitely a power but to misuse that power is criminal and that's what we are doing right now before we dig into the current situation of journalism and discuss this cr- the critical aspects related to it i would like to know from you what is about journalism that is so appealing and exciting probably what made you choose this as your professional career and how do you feel being a journalist uh as you wonderfully quoted uh, mahatma gandhi you know i think we all find it very much relevant in today's scenario maybe the uh, he told us really long time ago that particular phrase or quote but i think even now we find its uh, relevance even in today's society uh talking about my journalism career so basically since my childhood i always knew what i don't want to do you know i was very clear about it uh, with my parents or as an individual as very clear whether i didn't i never wanted to uh, go into an 
go into iit or uh, you know become a doctor or pursue an mba from i uh, iim or anything else i knew what i wanted to do and i think that was journalism or something related to this part as a, as in uh, mass communication so um i think since my 10th standard was very clear that i want to pursue this thing and um, i think i always found it exciting because you know uh, as a child uh, i always seen my father you know he has been my role model i saw how he struggles every day and you know uh, tries to find the fact and uh, conveys it as uh, as truthfully as possible and i think many of the lives were reformed so i think uh, that initially you know uh, really inspired me so i think i embarked on this uh, career and i think when i started working or when i started uh, pursuing my studies also i was very clear that you know i want to do something for the society uh, for a greater good or for people uh, so there are many you know streams in journalism whether it's uh, or beat what you call in journalism that is sports entertainment and um, politics but i was very clear that you know i want to uh, write more about human interest stories that is uh, common people's life you know because i think everybody reads about stars politicians sports person but i think somewhere you know uh, these common man or common people somewhere they get buried uh, nobody talks about them so you know they all it always fascinated me or excited me like i love to talk and i love to hear what people have to say so you know sometimes uh, in my career i would meet different people i would i would go from door to door in search of stories uh, that you know that inspire people that inspire me as a person so i met a lot of vendors uh, i met uh, sanitation workers or uh, you know a domestic servant anyone you know i would i would talk to them i would like to know about the stories uh, what their real lives are and i think uh, even you know it's okay even if you don't uh, trust me when i was in my uh, even now when i do my job i meet people they don't want to uh, be covered or get that uh, you know privilege or something like a cover up in uh, newspaper or uh, tv they just want to talk they just want someone to hear them out or try to help them at least so i think that's what fascinated me meeting new people meeting these kind of people whom i can actually you know they are just like us who loves to talk and loves to share with us uh, their little joy so i think that's that's what fascinated me to write about them to uh, better their lives feel very sad when i read those spj code of ethics for journalists which says that uh, the basic principle of journalism sh- is truthfulness accuracy objectivity impartiality fairness and public accountability and unfortunately we are failing at so many levels at this point of time and i feel all of us are involved in this failure <laughs> Rupsha while you were talking about some of the uh, common problems that journalists face i want to know from you what are the risks associated with journalism as a profession and uh, if you have faced any of them come across any of them then do let us know yes uh, absolutely right as you said you know that uh, media is fourth estate and uh, you know a lot of people think that yes media means uh, it stands for liberty freedom democracy but i think yes to a certain extent uh, we do have the liberty freedom or uh, you know we we are have the right we do have the right to write something which is credible but uh, yes sometimes uh, what happens is you know the truth uh, somewhere it gets hidden or buried and uh, you know nobody gets to know about it and um, and i think uh, i don't know if there'll be a change sooner or later but uh, I think thanks to social media in that sense you know sometimes what happens is these uh, these days i think which uh, news channels or uh, even print doesn't come out with uh, such news stories that social media channels come out and it's just that one click <laughs> again as they say that you know everything has boon and bane uh, uh, to it so because of social media uh, 
personally individually it is a tool which we can use uh, immensely um, and also like you know as masses like you know if you really want uh, something to be noticed or uh, something which you are really worried but you know you you know that it won't be taken care of or it won't be written at the first place but i think uh, social media in that way uh, it it doesn't scrutinize you it doesn't judge you uh, as an individual we can you know uh, definitely bring our attention or focus to so i think thanks to that and yes there are uh, many brave journalists like you know uh, gauri lankesh or uh, feed souza my personal uh, favorite is feed souza or uh, you know barkha dat who actually you know talk about some real news you know they they just don't talk about politics there's so much to talk about they talk about farmers they talk about war they talk about uh, the real things that you know we have to know something which is not really told uh, out there uh, honestly put out there in tv but you know uh, yes they did make a conscious uh, choice of uh, helming the truth or you know speaking standing for what they believe so i think yes we do have uh, a brave journalist too who stood up and i think some of them face consequence like you know gauri lankesh uh, as you know i think everybody knows uh, that uh, she was killed uh, at point blank but i think yes definitely there are uh, many more uh, braver journalists which which we can see in today's world and uh, they do stand for what they believe and what is right yes there are risks involved in journalism for sure uh, but you know name any field whether it's acting to sports to even a common man who goes every day uh, to a factory to work i think even he has risks or he has faced risks uh, for sure but definitely the uh, intensity of risks varies from profession to profession uh, talking about journalism in particular um, they are uh, so many risks yaar i mean uh, the risk is much at higher stake for sure like um, the life is at risk you know when you are uh, you know covering a investigative story uh, nobody knows about it except your editor you know you are going on a sting operation or you know doing an investigation trying to dig out the truth you know find out facts there's so much like this there's a huge risk which is involved so your life is at risk your family uh, is uh, watched um and uh, you know i think that is the bigger uh, risk right like life is at stake you know you never know today you are alive and tomorrow you may be shot so that is a bigger stake your family is at risk uh, you don't know if your children are safe or your father or mother is safe at the end of the day um then any other stake which is involved uh, or risk which i can talk about is um maybe your job can uh, you can get suspended from your job uh, like a direct one time sacked just because you produce the truth over there uh, and it received a backlash you will be removed and if there's a really uh, huge pressure your even your editor or a company can't save you from it you will be sacked and uh, there are also you know certain people and and i think the last risk which can be associated is uh, you know people judge you so sometimes what happens is you know a person who is into a lot of reading and you know gets to know at least one bad news or you know something pertaining to a particular journalist definitely they believe uh, all the misconceptions or develop a perspe- uh, perception towards that one journalist so i think uh, that's really you know saddening personally if you ask if i faced uh, such risk uh, not really because i think uh, i never chose uh, in initial because i, I was just 20 when i started i began my career as a journalist in the indian express newspaper uh, and my beats were very local that you know covering from human interest stories uh, to you know vmrda which is vishaka metro uh development uh, area education was my beat so i covered mostly soft stories 
बट आई थिंक हार्डली विच आई फेस्ड समथिंग वॉज ऑनेस्टली मे बी लाइक माई स्टोरी गॉट डिस्कार्डेड विच इज लाइक यू नो इट वॉज पुट असाइड बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई रियली डेंट फेस एनी ह्यूज रिस्क एज सच बट आई कैन डेफिनेटली कोट समथिंग पर्सनल यू नो लाइक माई फादर you know he would uh, he's always fascinated with some investigative stories like this and you know he would uh, i remember once you know he was writing about i think 6 years back or maybe 5 years back uh, there was one mall coming up and uh, he wanted to write about it and he got the facts details quotes everything and he started writing and people the the owners of it got to know about it so uh, he started working on he it didn't care like he didn't care about uh, what will be the consequences because i think he felt that you know somewhere down the line the common man is going to get affected or maybe people lives could be at risk or stake so he wanted to write it he wanted to put out the truth and i remember you know every day he would be tensed like you know whether uh, you know his daughter that is me i'll be fine or not whether my mother will be fine or not whether his mother is going to be fine at home whether we all are going to be alive whether i think we were we got to know about this thing maybe after 3 months down the line that you know something like this he was facing so he would uh, there were n number of times maybe thrice or more than that that he faced death threats uh, you know calls which uh, you know uh, some goons who would call him up and you know threaten him that you know his life is at stake so every day maybe for a week or something he would be really scared petrified uh, to do to write something or not so i think most of the time he has written about things but yes uh, i think sometimes he had to back off because the situation was quite really really scary uh, because the death calls uh, was really serious and uh, you know he couldn't put our lives at uh, risk you know so i think yes i mean he he did receive uh, death threats over call but i personally i haven't like in my 6 months or 4 months that i worked i really didn't uh, receive something like that maximum what i you know as i said before that i what i had to go through is maybe like my post was uh, like my article was discarded that's it and maybe some personal problem in office uh, some issues but i think apart from that i really didn't uh, i i wasn't i didn't feel the risks that's really true these days people who are talking about real matters who are trying to bring out the reality of the world trying to relate to your life and bringing out matters that actually uh, you know are important for our existence those writers editors content creators and journalists usually are considered to be wrong and they end up uh, losing their jobs or even their lives sometimes and this is really bad to see how people who are supporting truth and are trying to give real meaning to journalism are actually being removed from this profession itself and that's sad that's sad it's sad to see how we are falling down at the level of um, knowledge and humanity to talk about what a common person feels when he watches uh, news on television or through a print media or even through social media at times all i'm left to say is maybe there's some angel who came down from the skies to change the spj code of conduct for uh, journalists and also came down to change the definition of journalism entirely and now it's no more about bringing awareness in the world but about becoming mouthpieces of certain political parties or maybe certain strong groups to propagate ideologically biased news and that's what it's doing i mean most of it is doing and here the responsibility of a viewer increases where he has to select very carefully select and choose what to see what not to see what to believe what not to believe because this might psychologically impact you a lot you might become someone who would be psychologically driven by the news that that you're watching and which might not be true at the end of the day yes i totally agree to that you know i think um, you know journalism or news uh, is such a tool that it definitely i think more than informing it plays a role in influencing public you know <laughs> and i think uh, that's very much evident in uh, today's scenario uh, anything that happens whether it's cia protest or uh, whether it's boys locker room 
or uh, whether it's a murder of a particular journalist or anything which happens i think uh, there'll be two things you know they will i think media houses or channels they take two sides one is uh, supporting that instant and one is against that instant and then you know they keep on uh, publishing uh, news or you know broadcasting one thing over 50 times so obviously you know as a common man or human it's a human tendency like you know when you see something uh, for like the 50th time uh, you are bound to you know get conditioned to it like even if you want to uh put it aside brush it aside and be like in nahi i'll have a neutral aspect to it or neutral take to it no i think it has become so strong uh that even teenagers have started uh, you know voicing out or taking stands and they don't know whether they are doing i won't blame them because obviously uh, they do not have much uh, idea about incidents we definitely believe uh, what we are showed or what we read so i think you know it it's somewhere down the line it gets conditioned and uh, yeah we are we are psychologically driven and uh, i think we see the consequences also like you know the protest and then you know blaming each party uh, and then um, you know uh, killing someone from the other community and uh, developing perceptions about uh, people and then there's so much hatred i feel uh, you know that, that as uh, media houses i think uh, they should be like you know 70% responsible of uh, you know at least uh, making sure that do, they do the basic thing that is you know check the information and put it out there and rest leave it to the people because i think people have become very smart and wise and they know what to do uh, currently Very well said Rupsha risks are involved and associated with any kind of profession you pick it's just that you should be wholly and solely passionate about it one and second that you must be ready to perform it ethically your duties should be performed in the right way in that case you won't have any fear of anything is this actually happening because people are not happy with the traditional media houses which is leading them to make their own channels to show what others are not showing how do you think is this benefiting the democracy or at the first place even if it's benefiting or not i want to know your take over this yes uh, and you know personally i would like to add one thing uh, i didn't face a face a risk though but uh, i would like to share something you know so basically uh, after my graduation i started off with my post graduation in uh, journalism and mass communication and also parallelly started working full time okay so uh, you know after my college that is you know after 10 o'clock or maybe after 12 o'clock i used to after my classes i used to go for on field uh, work and then uh, and mm-hmm. office at 4 o'clock or something so you know sometimes and and everybody knows this profession is not that easy as it looks like it's not uh, e- even though it's glamorous uh, it it doesn't come free of cost okay so sometimes i used to come back home at uh, 10:30 or 11 in the night i think maximum i think uh, one day i think i was covering about the petrol hike uh, hike in petrol prices and i came back home at 11 or 11:30 uh, so trust me when i was coming at that point of time being a girl and you know uh, and india being at such a stage uh, where you know not only your family stands but i think obviously your family strength uh, tends for right reasons because you know the amount of rape cases that happen and you know uh, there are some people who who keep stalking you on road and all and i think every girl has faced it so i i won't lie or deny it sometimes when i used to come back late at home and i'm just 20 um, i i used to really get petrified like uh, you know some some guys would start following me on street uh, you know i would start driving really fast or i would slow down and uh, allow them to go so i think uh, yes i mean i've heard loot comments i've uh, heard people looking at me creepily because i would return late at night from work or uh, you know the i think more than you know what people think and the judgments i think what i was scared of was like ki i just want to go back home safely and have ghar ka khana and sleep so i think uh, this is something like a personal risk uh, that i think uh, i had to face uh, for quite a time 
Congratulations to you, Roop Shah, because you're not just a good journalist, but a very brave girl also. I'll share a very personal experience here. In the last few days, I've been talking to many youth leaders. Most of them were girls. Girls who have achieved heights in their life. Those who have got so many titles and have made their families and friends proud. They have made their societies and regions where they live proud of them. Even then, all these girls who have surpassed the limits of success and have proved themselves, even they have this sense of insecurity in their hearts. It's really sad to see how girls who are slowly becoming the pride of this nation are still undergoing that emotional distress of being objectified, of being looked upon by the society. And we all need to wake up from this deep sleep. We need to respect girls as they are a, a crucial part of our growth, you know. And oh, girls are making uh, people proud in every aspect of life today. They are, they are not just good homemakers. They are not just bringing up such good people, such good youth. But they are also bringing up the society in general. And they are doing the good work. So kudos to you to be one of the female leaders. And kudos to all the women leaders who are leading the world right now. And I ask the people to please you know, not look upon them the way you are doing right now. It totally shatters our confidence. In your recent answer, Rupsha, you highlighted how social media is both a boon and a bane for journalism. Given that these social media platforms are there, open journalism through YouTube channels is very popular these days. So people are making their own analysis, they show Indians the true news and they are all having small small ventures to bring about news in front of people. What do you think about them? Don't you think that these are all a consequence of the discontent that people have in their mind related to the uh, national news channels or newspapers or the otherwise agency of journalism of India? Uh, yes, uh, I think we all have been wise enough and we have seen uh, you know, how certain journalists have uh, moved out from traditional media houses and I can name them, uh, that is one is Alam Goswami, uh, Faye D'Souza and uh, Barkhadat. So recently uh, the journalist who had moved out of a company was uh, Faye D'Souza. She used to work in Mirror now and I think uh, I have really been an ardent admirer of her. Because, you know, she really stood up for what she believed in. Uh, she wanted to put it out there, uh, the the factual news, whether it's talking about farmers to uh, talking about actors and movies and, uh, you know, standing up for women's rights and also men too. Uh, it was really fascinating. I, I don't know why did she leave. She didn't uh, come out with a statement or maybe she came out. I didn't read it. But I think I've been following her in social media. That is at the rate uh, Faye D'Souza uh, in Instagram. You know, it's wonderful. It's beautiful to see that, you know, you don't need a media. You, you don't need to come up with again with a news channel or something. You can still, like, you know, if you really believe in what you say, you can start off with a little thing. That is blogging. Uh, every day, you know, there has been not one day that she has not covered news or she never spoke, uh, spoken about uh, the thing. You know, from detailly researching to putting out, giving every hourly updates on everything, whether it's on coronavirus update or whether it's, um, you know, talking about uh, women who have been, uh, you know, uh, molested or, uh, you know, but any any event, you know, she she keeps giving us constant updates, uh, and also she quotes uh, the sources if she has taken from certain source, say, and TV or uh, or Republic or anywhere. She quotes them, you know. That's the so, and it's so ethical to see that you know she does it, and also you know individually she you know she comes live every day with a smile on her face, and you know she. Uh, presents her take on a particular subject or gives us very simplified version because sometimes you know what happens is you don't know particular meaning of uh, one word or you're not understanding uh, the business news or you're not understanding uh, what is happening in uh, the scientific world I think she breaks it down and uh, you know she's very cordial she goes live so that she can take uh, questions from uh, public and you know she puts it out there so I think um, it's a good thing 
you know that that what certain journalists are doing and you know it's it's a really good thing that you know that certain journalists are actually standing up for, for what they feel and uh, when they see that yes there's no respect served or you know they their ideologies are not being met uh, it's really proud of them you know i really feel good that some are taking stands and you know going out there See, as we know that India is a democratic country, and you know we are cho- we have the right to choose what we uh, believe in or abide by, and it's okay, you know. Like uh, tomorrow, you can start a YouTube channel, or I can start blogging. Uh, you know, I I have actually uh, started doing that. Like in my Instagram handle, like you know, when I when I see that I can't put it out there in a particular magazine or a newspaper, I make sure as a uh, responsible citizen, I try to you know. check facts and put it out there so that you know people at least one person may actually believe in the news and uh, you know follow it you know so i think uh, people are free to do what they want to do and i think it's their choice but i think uh, you know it's the other people choice that is viewers to whether they have to make a conscious decision or conscious choice that should i follow him or should i follow her so i think uh, if the ball is in our court you know one journalist uh, or one person can actually start creating content like start a youtube channel for say or start blogging where they say that authentic news here with that caption or with a particular take on it they will produce content okay so now as a viewer you have the right or you have to make a choice ki okay should i go for this actually should i follow him or her and listen to what every word they are saying should i follow like a you know a sheep to what uh, the the shepherd is saying no you know so i think uh, it's it's totally you know it's your choice whether you want to follow it or not i think uh, the problem doesn't lies ki the, the problem doesn't lies in uh, what people are coming up with content there are contents there's so many contents i i you know even now you go to youtube there are people with 3 subscribers who are still trying to make it you know to give uh, out news or maybe like you know with some funny content some content like you know it's all about content you can start up where uh, you are promising that you will give content but i think uh, the only way your content gets all over uh, the world is if you as a viewer is passing it on so if you buy it you pass it on so i think that's where i you know i'm saying like you know it all depends upon or it boils down to only one particular thing that is as a viewer or a reader you want to uh, buy it or not so i think we should be sensible enough to check out its credibility or maybe like you know uh, just just analyze uh, that okay should i just leave it okay i have seen this particular news or i have seen this particular content that's it should i put it out there and uh, you know make it personal and then you know 10 other people seeing it and uh, out of which five people are forwarding it again right so i think we should make a conscious uh, uh, effort of whether we should buy in the news or not content creators will make will keep creating contents and i think if now if there are 50 people who are creating contents 10 years from now maybe like next year itself they'd be like 1000 uh, people who will be making uh, contents or maybe millions of people making content you know so i think we should be careful who are uh, like you know buying in the content or like uh, you know forwarding the content true because we have social media platforms active these days so we can actually communicate with a lot of people all at once and if we really strongly believe about something and we know that it's going to propagate good thoughts good vibes and it's going to add to the knowledge of people you must not hesitate but definitely should take up something like blogging or maybe videography also i started blogging long back when i realized that um, media channels or you know for that matter even newspapers or any other person would not come and speak about how you should be living a good life but that's the most important thing right now to live a happy life to live a life full of contentment to know how you should be living in your life to know human values to address the issues which people usually like to keep to themselves but also want solutions for 
that's the need of the hour and we should be addressing to such situations sharing our experiences so that it can help someone to get out of a trouble because it's possible that your writing might inspire someone somewhere at some point of time and you actually help someone out of a bad situation yes exactly i think uh, everybody would believe uh, in me or you know would relate that you know most of the girls are uh, a victim of it or you know they, we all are scared like you know uh, after 6 o'clock i think uh, if if we go out for some work or even uh, getting vegetables everybody is scared whether it's from our parents to even us as an individual no matter how much we put on uh, you know our heart on sleeves we are still scared somewhere that you know someone shouldn't cat call us or you know someone shouldn't tease us or you know start following us or maybe uh, could lead us into worse scenarios i think one point which i would like to uh, bring it out here is you know it's not just you know ki uh, people should not look down on girls or women it's it that's how you don't bring a change i think you know it's about respecting both of the genders i think you can make the world a better place to live only when both men and women equally respect each other and protect each other like you know uh, whether it's a, if you see a man uh, getting beaten up for wrong reasons or something has happened stand up for him even even if a woman is uh, getting ill treated or you know there's domestic violence or something you know maybe at workplace only someone is harassing her i think even men should stand uh, out for her and you know uh, you know voice out so i think the only way is not you know the only way to overcome the situation or try to uh, better the situation is not just by respecting women or girl or not looking down on one particular gender it's about mutually respecting each other standing up for each other and protecting each other i think that's the only way we can shatter uh, this thing so i think roopsha you have wonderfully summed up everything back into one word that's responsibility as a engineer and also as a future journalist i can pretty much say that data is always going to increase the amount of content created every day is going to multiply over the years but that content is validated by viewers if we as viewers take this responsibility of only promoting and watching the content which is credible then we can pretty much remove all the bias from the society most of it would be filtered so it's primarily the responsibility of us the information takers to decide what to promote and what not to promote thank you so much the equality remark that you said is really beautiful we can all witness the diminishing importance of the set of standard rules and the organic growth in journalism but there are still so many people like me who are looking at journalism as a career if you had to give one piece of advice to them what would you give see every field is beautiful in its own way uh, and talking about journalism i think it's uh, one of the most beautiful uh, field or career personally i've embarked on uh, any field is uh, no field is bad uh, it's the people who go there and you know uh, it's your personal choice whether you want to make it bad or not so i think uh, you know people who really want to uh, embark on this career can actually uh, work hard uh, know the particular streams uh, take the particular beat which you love and i think you know uh, you can definitely come into the stream and and you will fall in love for sure uh, one piece of advice who really want to um, Uh, get into hardcore journalism or you know just uh, as journalism as a field want uh, wanted to be taken up uh, please be uh, truthful uh, that is major uh, thing and uh, you know know your priorities like what you want uh, and you know stand for what you believe in so no matter what uh, even even if you attain success for or definitely you will attain success in this field for sure as an individual so you know your ethics is what will speak volumes for you know so no matter of uh, you know in which channel you're working in or you know which country you're working in uh, you should always have some ethics uh, or some decorum in you so you know set your decorum uh go into this field and definitely you will love it you know so they make sure that you know you definitely stand by in what you believe in that's all i can say 
and you will definitely rock for sure. Very rightly said, Rupsha. Journalism is probably one of the most creative and interesting options to take up as a career. Given that you are really passionate about it, it is both a matter of pride and responsibility because your single word that you write or you speak can actually change and affect the life of so many people. So you have a huge responsibility to take up on your shoulders. So much. Uh, it was lovely uh, to be a part of Sidi Bath podcast. I think uh, it's really interesting, you know, that a couple of uh, young people have taken up this initiative to come forward and uh, interview people, or you know, to to actually be a medium to let people know uh, what it is and you know how as an individual uh, we go through things. And I think it's very relatable also. Like a lot of people will relate to uh, each of the podcasts, so it's. a really very good initiative and uh, i was really honored to be a part of it and i'm happy and glad uh, that i could share something which i really believe in uh, yes uh, definitely a sense of journalism is getting lost somewhere but i'm i'm sure like you know there are a uh, couple of youth or more than that uh, who really believe in and uh, you know who are very much uh, strong uh, minded who can who are really who really want to bring a difference to the society you know and want to bring something new to the table and something factual that can not only just uh, inform the public but also uh, build a new perspective uh, among individuals so i'm glad i could be a part of it and it was lovely talking to you Thank you so much for joining us Rupsha and giving us such wonderful insights about journalism as a career and journalism in general though the profession might be losing its essence in reality but still we have so many of you who are still keeping up the spirit of journalism and journalists thank you so much for joining us once again for our listeners i have only one word of caution which is also a word of motivation chhap kar bika karte the jo akhbar suna hai ki aajkal bik kar chhapte hain You take it the way you want but make sure that you choose to watch and to create the right content. Thank you so much for joining with us. Signing off this is your host Lovepreet Kaur.